this what y'all, <laughs> this what y'all want to deal with, so we're going to deal with it. We're not going to get with it real heavy, but it will be deep enough so that it will quench your thirst and your uh, possibly uh, uh, create uh, hunger and passion not to know more about the Illuminati, but to know more about the God who will destroy the Illuminati. Okay, that, that's, where, that's where we're going. Okay, so we're going to start with, with some of the fundamentals once again. And we're going to start off with a quote, okay? Mob D, Illuminati want my mind, soul, and body. Secret society trying to keep their eye on me. Also, a verse that was used in Reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z's first album, right? A bundle which joint? The Evil. <laughs> right? The Evil brought this point out. Uh, but once again, it deals with how even the Illuminati, watch this, was talked about in the 90s before the year 2010, because the year 2010 was the year of Illuminati for hip hop. But, but let's look at more detailed where in regards to what was said about Illuminati by one of the philosophers of Illuminati professor as Illuminati relates to education. We must win the common people in every corner this would be obtained chiefly by means of the schools and by open heartedly their behaviors, how they act. We have to embrace it. Show kind decisions, popularity, toleration of their prejudice, which we shall at leisure root out in dispel. So the objection is to embrace you the way that you are make you feel as good, comfortable, as you're constantly being educated to eventually change the way you think by brainwashing and have you feel the order of executing what some may call the Illuminati. So understand that this is a professor that talks about the concept of the Illuminati. But I want to open up with a Bible verse first. This will set the tone on where the Illuminati is. So the end of the Antichrist, NWO means what for you Illuminati heads? New world, that's right. New world order and the Illuminati. This beast, now in the scriptures, the beast is always the Antichrist. So you're talking about the CEO of the NWO and the Illuminati, okay? The, this beast or antichrist look like a leopard. The leopard represents the swift movement of the antichrist on how, he, how fast he will move. But it had a bear's feet. And the scriptures talk about the bear's feet, talking about the might of one of animal stumps, signifying the military force of the antichrist. Okay? A lion's mouth. The lion is known to be what of the jungle? Which means that this country and where he is will be a global superpower. You know how America's always boasting about it being a superpower? That's what, that's what the lion's mouth represents. He's the superpower. And the dragon. The dragon is Satan himself. Satan himself gave him his own power and throne and great authority. All up under the umbrella of what? NWO Illuminati. This is where we, that, that, this is where we go, okay? So he's empowered by Satan to have the power. Now power by definition, by definition is two things. Influence over people with money to support. So when people say they want power, they're saying they want influence over people. 
and the wealth and money to support it. That's power. I saw that one of the heads of the beast seemed wounded beyond recovery, but the fatal wound was healed because the scriptures and how some have been interpreted is that there will be an assassination attempt on him who's controlling the NWO and the Illuminati. So there's an assassination attempt where a blow goes to the head of the Antichrist. All the world marveled at this miracle and followed the beast in awe. Why? Because this JFK shot to the head didn't blow his top back and kill him, but when he died, he came back. <laughs> and people saw it through live stream, through television, through the internet. And when they saw this, they marveled, watch this. They did what? They worshiped the dragon for giving the beast such power. Now we get off into pure Satan worship because that's the whole purpose of the whole organization and its structure. It's to lure everybody back to Satan. It's the whole purpose. They worship the dragon for giving the beast such power, and they worship the beast. Is there anyone as great as the beast, the Antichrist? They exclaim, who is able to fight against him? But the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God, and he was given authority to do what he wanted, for 42 months, and he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, against God, slandering his name and all who live in heaven who are in his temple. We're talking about the very end of the NWO, the very end of the Illuminati, the very end of trilateralism, the very end of foreign relationship, the very end of it. Those that have embraced the tattoo of 666, which we'll get off into because <laughs> this is where you want to go, we're going. Verse number 19, 20. The beast, this is at the end, this is at the very end, the beast was captured and with him the false prophet. Because if you know anything about the NWO or the, anti, or the one world order, you also have to have a one world one world religion because he's a spiritual head so you have to have a one world religion and if you study the Illuminati if you study new world order and one world order then you also have to have a one world religion everything is dumped into a melting pot what killed me I was you know I always see it all the time but I saw it this morning you know, the sticker that everybody sees, coexist, <laughs> right? Symbol of Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Christianity, Islam, coexist. And that's a concept that's being promoted because there has to be a one world religion. You just can't have Christianity, can't have this, can't have all that. Go ahead. And understand, let me break it down to you even more elementary. It's so strong for your young generation. I just showed you. This thing goes back to the 1700s. Because I believe back then, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, watch this, watch this. Well, rap was called Shakespeare. <laughs> right, The real dead poets. Right, right, right. So when you talk about a newer generation, and there's something about us that love this underground knowledge, as if you got the real inside skinny. And that's what it promotes, that I got something that the world, rest of the world doesn't have, nobody. There's no way possible it could be a secret society if you got books, DVDs, and movies, and magazines, and dictionaries. It's all over the internet. It's the worst kept secret. 
If it's a secret, it's the worst kept secret, man. And it's been a horrible secret back to 1776. When it wasn't even meant to be a secret. Do you, are you saying, Deke, are you, uh, are you denying the fact that higher powers have a hidden agenda? Not by any stretch of the imagination. But I won't necessarily label it as Illuminati. I just simply call it Lucifer. It's just satanic. Uh, like uh, Isaiah said, you know, that, you know, Satan, you talk about hip hop and Satanism, but because it's not God, it's an over, already part of Satanism. He hit the nail right on the head. It's Satanism regardless. It's the, if it's leading you, if it's not leading you to Christ, and it's your flesh and your mind in cahoots with evil, guess who it is? So people do good things to try to justify and rationalize within their mind. Oh, I can continue to do what I do because it's okay. The Lord knows my heart. You know, I keep doing that. You know, the Lord knows my heart. But the problem, here's, what you fail to realize is you're absolutely correct. He knows your heart. That's why you need to be listening to the pastor listening to your Sunday school teacher and reading your Bible because he does know your heart. <laughs> Luminati number one, Skull and Bones, New World Organization. That's what you're talking about, New World Organization. Luminati is a part of it. Skull and Bones, Freemasonry, Council of Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the Bildersburgers, all that is part of New World Order. The New World Order. Now, who does that about Illuminati? Now watch this. Here's the concept. As the 21st century ushered in, as the 21st century ushered in, fear, fears increase. The most the idea and concept of Illuminati does is this. The more you learn about it, the more it makes you fearful. The more you learn about the Illuminati, the more you become fearful of a system that is evil, dark, you have no control over, and you are nothing more than a victim. You say, D, how come, you know, you say you study this and all this, how come you don't, how come you feel different? Well, let me break it down to you like this. The knowledge of the system that I have faith in provides me comfort and peace. The knowledge or extensive knowledge that you have of the system that you study brings you no more than fear. So, I, I, I didn't never have to deal with the subject. Why? Because I, I believe in the true superior king that rules a spiritual kingdom for now, which will eventually evolve into a natural kingdom. So the more you learn about the Illuminati, the more you just feel like a victim. The impending new millennium brought apocalyptic, apocalyptic dread to the masses that a skull and bones secret sect will orchestrate new world or through futuristic methods of mind control, computer chips under skin, barcode tracking devices on humans, and all that stuff. So you study it, you get off into it, you get deep with it. Oh man, you know you can fold a $20 bill up and make the two towers come up within the two twenty. Oh, did you know with the two uh, snakes and blue cross, blue shield actually represent? <laughs> and here, the scriptures give you and provide you some symbols and codes you don't even try to, try to tap into that will show you the end of the real Illuminati.
Let's talk about Illuminati and hip hop. And 2010 in particular has been the year of the Illuminati phenomenon consumed hip hop the most during its resurgence. Its resurgence. This is not new. That's new to the youngins. You youngins <laughs> understand this is new to you. This, ain't, this is not new. The concept of one world order, the concept where one person controls all, and see, and that was my whole idea, is that I can almost, based upon how Illuminati was defined to me, I can attach Illuminati to almost anything, where you have a few controlling the masses. Every, that's, how, that's how the world runs, period. That's how the world runs, period. The rumor mill tossed names like Jay-Z, Kanye West, 50 Cent, or 50, Lil Wayne, T.I., M. Diddy, into the mix. Why? Because we believe on their status, they're the ones with all the power. But understand, if 70% of hip hop gets its money, watch this, outside the African-American community. Why? Because we love bootleg. <laughs> we love bootleg. We buy shirts from my boy in the basement, at the gas station, that promote the same message as if we bought it originally. So the all these Famous individuals aren't receiving mass amounts of money because you're buying their music. You're promoting the overall agenda, but financially, you're not contributing to that now if you're buying bootleg. And when you're dealing with the hip hop culture at large, then you're talking about cross line amongst other, ethnic other ethnicities, Hispanic community, white community, etc. Asian community, which we talked about a couple weeks ago, it's the same thing. So they're receiving their money and their power, and they may be used at the base of what you want to call the pyramid of the Illuminati, but they, they're not the real heavyweights. And we talked about this the other week, too. When you're dealing with uh, Sony BMG, Universal, those are the heavyweights. That's what real power is. It's like, you know, amongst us African Americans, we always want to be a basketball player. But the idea of be owning a whole team really doesn't enter into our head. And you're just going to be used until your knees are shot, <laughs> until you have X amount of surgeries, right? And then that eye candy you married who thought you were going to retain your power, dumps you for now the football player who can reserve their power with your kid so she can keep making the bare minimum of $80,000 annually off child support. <laughs> you see, you see, and that's what it is. To us in our, in our thinking, that's big money, these guys. And Illuminati, Matt Cons that's nothing. You know, uh, what they say, um, uh, Wiz Khalifa, expecting to make fortune, rapper's fortune, 10, you know, 10 million. 10 million. Nothing. Million. Jokers pay taxes with 10 million. <laughs> Their taxes are paid with 10 million. You know, but in our, but our mind, oh, these jokers got all the money. All the power. And I was watching one uh, video, I mean, I was watching the, I was learning about the behind, behind the scenes of uh, making videos, I was reading about it, and a video can run up to like $70,000 in production just to create the two to three minute video, at, you know. So with that, everything is rented. They don't even own half of what you saw in the video. <laughs> they don't even own it. The Lambo, don't own it. Don't own it. Even Soldier Boy, man. This guy, who knowingly, unknowingly, sports a tattoo pyramid with the top attached alleged Illuminati symbolism, 
was labeled a member. <laughs> you know what I mean? After I learned about Illuminati. If you're Illuminati head, now that you have all this knowledge, what are you supposed to do with it besides tell everybody about it? It doesn't even provide no type of plan of salvation. I mean, to help, okay, now we learn about the Illuminati, we gotta do this, that, and this, that, and the other different. What does it provide? What is the solution to stop this train? Now that you've accumulated all these books and tapes and DVDs and watching YouTube and going online, now that you got the knowledge, now what? Professor Griff said, when I reveal certain things to the masses of the people, if, if the masses of the people became awake and aware, this slows the Illuminati agenda down. What? <laughs> Listen, Satan has an overall agenda that must be fulfilled. And the book of Revelation exposes that his agenda will be fulfilled. There is no stopping it. If the agenda of Illuminati is, is that great, it doesn't need to be slowed down but stopped. And only God can do that. If it's that big train that we can't stop. Now let's go back to this. Let's talk about the Antichrist and the Illuminati's just reward. And I, would, I really wish we had enough time to plunge deep into this Illuminati thing. I would go through section by section on everything that would happen from God's perspective to the New World Order and the Illuminati. No problem. Watch this. Then I heard a mighty voice shouting from the temple to see seven angels. Now, quote, now go your way and empty out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The total agenda of the Illuminati, trilateralism, NW order has been executed. It has reached its full maximum and potential. The plan has been accomplished. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl over the earth in a horrible Malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast who worshiped his statue. That's the, that's the ultimate goal of the Illuminati. So now that individuals have embraced the Illuminati, took that tat, 666, took the tat of 666 on their forehead, and it's so, it runs so deep now that even business transactions can't take place unless you tat it. And he said, and in order to even embrace this tat, you have to blaspheme and deny God altogether. So now what happens is God is getting ready to pour out a plague. AIDS don't have nothing on this plague. Because this plague is a horrible, malignant source that broke out on everyone that engrafted the philosophy and idea of the Illuminati. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became like blood of a corpse. And everything in the sea died. And that means all the fish, all the whales, all the scorpions, all the eels, all the, all the hammerhead sharks, Everything died, which means that now people are dying of starvation because they can't even drink of the water. And not only they can't drink from it, they can't eat anything from it as well. Watch this. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs, and they became blood. Once again, there won't be no more spring water. There will be no more bottled water because there won't be any water to get from and I heard the angel who heard the authority of all the water saying, you are just in sending this judgment, O Holy One, who is, who, uh, who is and who always was. Watch this. The angel, as he's destroying humanity, and everybody that has embraced the philosophy of Illuminati, trilateralism, have not elevated themselves to worshiping the false prophet, the beast, and got involved with pure Satan worship. It's pure now. He doesn't need hip-hop anymore. He doesn't need rapping anymore. He doesn't need amen anymore. He doesn't need Rick Ross anymore. 
He done, now we've got down to the core of what it is. The angel looks back to God and says, you know what? What you're doing is right, man. What you're doing is right. They need this. That's what the angel tells, tells God. For your holy people and your prophets have been killed. Because the overall agenda, as we talked about the agenda and the philosophy of Illuminati, is to wipe out Christianity. So individuals have died because of it. That we say, it ain't no big deal. You keep listening to it, keep it enjoying it. He said individuals have died and their blood was poured out on the earth. It was an open spectacle, like public execution. It wasn't no big deal. So you have given their, you have given their murderers blood to drink. It is their just reward. But watch this. Watch this. I heard a voice from heaven in the altar saying, yes, Lord God Almighty, your punishments are true and just. They begin to thank and worship God for killing all those who follow and believe in the Illuminati. Then the fourth angel poured out his blood on the sun and caused to scorch everyone. So now they have the boils. Now they don't have water. They can't eat out of the sea. And now the sun has an unbearable heat that actually contacts the boils on their skin. And this is all considered to be the wrath or the anger of God on a people that he created in his own image that were raised up in church that ought to know better. That was coming to Sunday school at one point in their lives. Watch this. Everyone was burned by this blast of heat, and they cursed the name of God who sent all these plagues. They did not repent. In, in other words, after they did all that, it was, man, F this, man, MF this, man. They still blasphemed God to his face and still wouldn't repent. Watch this. I saw the dead. Watch this. Now we're at the very end. So then they die. If you understand the scriptures, and unfortunately we never talk about the Illuminati again, I'll talk about how one third of the people, one third of the planet, or those that are still here on earth, will be killed because of the Illuminati and that belief, that concept of Satan worshiping. One third die, but when everybody dies, the boils, the heat, the blood, no food, no water, then everybody dies, right? Everybody dies. I saw the dead, them, right? Both great and small, the Rockefellers to the Jacksons and Jenkins. <laughs> Standing before God's throne and the books were open, including the book of life. So then they had to be called back up out of the dead to talk about this Illuminati thing again because it's documented in the books. And the dead were judged according to the things written in the books, according to what they had done. But we say that it's light. We say that it's light. The sea gave up the dead in it. If jokers believed in it, Jokers didn't embrace God. They died in the water because of a drought. The sea had to give them back up. And the death and the grave gave up the dead in them. Everybody comes up. Nobody will escape. It's payback. It's payback for illuminating somebody or some system that's above God Almighty. It's payback. So if you feel, you feel, you, I'm going to just die and be with my boy. No, you're going to come back up. <laughs> Me and my boy is going to be pouring, pouring Moet on the ground. All that fire around us. We're going to be pouring that Moet out. Pouring that fire out with that Moet. <laughs> you ain't going to be pouring no fire out with no Moet, bro. Because you got to pay for all of that. 
All that 1800 you wasted on the ground, dog. <laughs> you are, that VSOP, you might as well just go ahead. Watch this. They were judged according to their, the sea gave them, they were all judged according to their deeds. And the death and grave were thrown into the lake of fire that is the second death. They're just not going to be, you got the dead, no. He takes the death, he takes hell, he takes grave, and he throws them all into a lake of fire. And the purpose of the lake of fire is that you are conscious after death. That's the whole purpose of torture. Hell is that you're still conscious. In Luke chapter number 16, where it talked about the rich man Lazarus, that's what it was. He ate, he could drink, he could taste. He could feel, he was conscious, and he could bring back to remembrance all those that still were alive on earth. That's what makes it delayed because you are conscious after death. The only thing that is asleep is the flesh. And if you are saved, baptized, and filled with the Spirit, then you won't encounter any of this. Watch this. And anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life, it didn't matter if you didn't believe in Illuminati. It didn't matter if you didn't believe in trilateralism. It didn't matter if you didn't believe in pure Satan worship. If you simply did not embrace Christ as your personal Lord and Savior through water baptism in Jesus' name, infilling of the Spirit, your the life was thrown into the lake of fire. Period. Doesn't matter. You want freedom from the Illuminati? Do you want freedom from the Illuminati? Then embrace Acts 2.38. This is total freedom from the Illuminati. There is no other way. There is no other system. God's system, and I wish I could tell you about when God actually, Christ destroys all the kingdoms of this world, and these kingdoms become the kingdoms of our Lord and our Savior, then all that full system that he has control over, becomes that, that Satan had, had control over, becomes his. And I hope, now don't get me wrong, I know that one lesson is not going to just wipe away the whole concept of Illuminati. But I do hope that you understand and believe the Illuminati is nothing once you understand the real New World Order that will come after Judgment Day. <laughs> That's where you talk. <laughs> Amen. One, because he died for us. Two, because he cried for us. Three, because the Spirit of God, he lives inside of us. Four, he took the for us. He took a slap for us. They put him in the grave in three days. He came back for he us. He's a God of the city. He's my Savior. He's a God. Next week now, we